A 9.5 gram bullet has a speed of 1.3 kilometers per second. Letter A. What is its kinetic energy in joules? Letter B. What is the bullet's kinetic energy if the speed is half? Letter C. The bullet's kinetic energy if its speed is doubled. Suppose you drop an apple, as we can see in this figure, habang nahulog yung apple, nagpo-provide ng positive work yung gravity dun sa object natin. And yung speed natin ay nag increase If you toss the apple naman upward, yung gravity ay nagpo-provide ng negative work and the apple slows down. So in general, whenever the total work done on an object is positive, nag increase yung kanyang speed. And whenever the total work is negative, nag decrease naman yung kanyang speed. Now, let's consider an apple of mass, say M, falling through the air. And suppose that two forces act on the apple. Una, yung gravity or yung kanyang weight, we have mass times gravity and yung average force of air resistance. For example, pabagsak siya and merong opposite force na nag-aak sa kanya, yun nga yung air resistance or let's say F sub air na lang. And yung total force acting on the apple is the net force. Yung net force na yan ay nagpo-provide dun sa Apple ng constant downward acceleration of magnitude say acceleration equals F total or yung net force natin over yung mass. Since yung total force or the net force is downward and the motion is also downward, the work done on the Apple is positive. And now suppose that the initial speed of the Apple is say V sub I. And that after falling a distance d, its speed increases to final velocity, to maas. The apple falls with a constant acceleration a, hence constant acceleration kinematics, meron tayong equation na v final square equals v initial square plus 2 times the acceleration times the distance. Derived natin para magkasama yung initial and final velocity, say we have 2ad equals v final square minus v initial square. And next, meron tayong acceleration dito. I-substitute natin yung value ng acceleration. We have the net force or yung F total over M. We have here 2 times F total over M times the distance equals final velocity square minus initial velocity square. Let's multiply the whole equation, magkabilang side by the mass, para makancel yung mass dito. So this is cancel na. We have now 2 times force total times D equals, i-distribute natin yung mass dito, we have M V final square minus M V initial square. And we divide both sides by 2. So cancel na natin. We have the here... F total times distance, this is now 1 half MV final square minus 1 half MV initial square. In this expression, na pinag-uusapan pa rin natin is yung apple. As an example, yung F total times the distance ito is simply the total work done on the apple. Ito siya. Total work done on the apple. And this is equal to 1 half mass times the final velocity square minus one half times the mass times the initial velocity square. So in this derivation, pinapakita dito that yung total work is directly related to the change in speed. And mapapansin natin, kapag yung total work natin is greater than zero, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung final velocity natin sa initial velocity. Kapag yung total work naman natin is less than zero, it means that mas malaki naman yung initial speed natin kesa sa final speed. And kapag yung total work natin is directly equal sa zero, meaning we have the same value of final and initial velocity equal sila ng value. So this quantity here, eto, in the equation for total work has a special significance in physics and tinatawag natin siya as the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy in motion from the Greek word kinetikos meaning motion. Kaya nga, dito sa equation natin, we have here the equation for kinetic energy. 
one half times mass times velocity square. This quantity is defined as the translational kinetic energy measured also in joules. Take note that unlike work, however, kinetic energy is never negative. Instead, yung kinetic energy niyan is always greater than or equal to zero, independent of the direction of motion or the direction of any forces. Example number one. A small airplane moving along the runway during takeoff has a mass of 690 kilograms and a kinetic energy of 25,000 joules. What is the speed of the plane? The kinetic energy of an object is given by the equation 1 half mass times the velocity square and we know that yung kinetic energy is 25,000 joules and yung mass naman is 690 kilograms. Therefore, masasolve na natin agad yung speed directly deriving from this equation. Solving for the velocity, we cross multiply so this is now 2 Ke or 2 times the kinetic energy. We have mass times the velocity square and we divide both sides by the mass. Cancel. To solve for the velocity, kuhanin natin yung square root ng magkabilang side of the equation para makancel ito. Velocity is now equal to the square root of 2 times the kinetic energy over the mass. And we substitute the values. Square root of 2 times the kinetic energy, we have 25,000 joules over the mass na 690 kilograms. Velocity is equal to 8.5 meters per second. So this is example number 1. Example number 2. To pass a slow-moving track, a 1.3 times 10 raised to 3 kilogram car behind accelerates from 13.4 meters per second to 17.9 meters per second in 3 seconds. What is the change in kinetic energy? In this problem, we assume that the road is level. For example, this is the road. And ito yung truck. And this is the car na mag-overtake. Ang initial speed niya is 13.4 meters per second until nag-accelerate siya after 3 seconds meron na siyang final velocity na 17.9 meters per second again the road is level so that no work is done against gravity and that friction and air resistance may be ignored we can determine the change in kinetic energy from the given mass of the car and its initial and final speeds and with this information at hand we can determine the change in kinetic energy from the given mass of the car in its initial and final speeds. So we have change in kinetic energy or simply delta Ke. This is equal to 1 half mass times the final velocity square minus 1 half mass times the initial velocity square. And we just have to substitute the values. Change in kinetic energy is equal to since isa lang naman sila ng mass, pwede natin i-factor out yung mass na yan and yung 1 half times final velocity square minus initial velocity square. We substitute the values now. 1 half times the mass, we have 1.3 times 10 raised to 3 kilograms times final velocity is 17.9 meters per second quantity square minus 13.4 meters per second quantity square. By calculating, change in kinetic energy is equal to 9.16 times 10 raised to 4 joules. This is example number 2. A 9.5 gram bullet has a speed of 1.3 kilometers per second. Letter A. What is its kinetic energy in joules? Letter B. What is the bullet's kinetic energy if the speed is half? Letter C. The bullet's kinetic energy if its speed is doubled. So in visualizing the problem, the bullet moves at high speed in a straight line. We have to calculate the kinetic energy using the formula. Then gagamitin natin yung ratios to find the new kinetic energy sa letter B and letter C. For letter A, kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mass times velocity square. Substitute natin yung values. We have 1 half here times ang mass natin is 0 0.0095 kilograms times 1300 meters per second quantity 
square. And by calculating, letter A, kinetic energy is equal to 8,030 joules. For letter B, again, we use a ratio to predict the new kinetic energy. Kapag yung speed is kalahati na lang. So we have kinetic energy, yung bago, say new, divided by kinetic energy old, one half times the speed new, divided by one half times mass, times the velocity of old square. So cancel na to, yung one half and yung mass. Ang matitira na lang sa atin is yung new velocity and new, new velocity and the old velocity. And again, Half daw yung speed. So, kalahati na lang nung original speed natin. Therefore, we have here one half nung old speed quantity square over the old speed square. By simplifying, this is one fourth V old square divided by one fourth ito. V old square. Cancel na to. And matitira na lang sa atin is yung kanilang ratio. We have one fourth. Therefore, yung new kinetic energy is equal to one-fourth ng old kinetic energy. We just have to substitute the old kinetic energy. We have one-fourth times 8,030 joules. Ang new kinetic energy natin now is equal to 2,007.5 joules. Or simply, mas madali kung ang gagawin na lang natin since directly sinabi naman na niya sa instruction na Kalahati daw ng speed. Ang gawin na lang natin to solve for the new kinetic energy, 1 half times the mass na 0 0.0095 kilograms times 1 half nung original speed natin. So this is 1,300 divided by 2, 650 meters per second quantity square. And ang makukuha din natin is 2,007.5 joules. For letter C naman, same ang gagawin natin using the ratio na lang. Or para mas madali, pwede yung gawin natin is eto. So using the ratio, kinetic energy new over kinetic energy old is equal to 1 half mass times the new velocity square divided by 1 half times mass times old velocity square. Cancel na to. Again, ang condition naman sa letter C is double yung speed. So this is 2 times the velocity old quantity square over velocity old square. By simplifying, makakancel yung old velocity na term natin and matitira lang sa atin dito is 4 na lang. And that means that yung new kinetic energy kapag dinobol yung speed natin is 4 times the old kinetic energy. And by substituting the value of the old kinetic energy, ang value natin for the new kinetic energy using the ratio is 32,120 joules. The kinetic energy is proportional to the velocity squared and this is a very useful thing to remember when calculating ratios. And this is example number 3.